The date is October the 22nd, 2013, and as a mom of a 14-year-old Philip Chisholm, you realize he hasn't come home yet, so you report him missing to the police. As this is the case of a missing teenager, the police takes it seriously and immediately checks for any pings made by his phone in order to figure out his last location. And they find out that he has bought a cinema ticket, but by the time they made it there, the cinema screening has already passed and he was already out of there. Around 9 p.m., the principal of the school sends an email out to the rest of the staff that the student has gone missing, and to that they get a response from the Ritzer family that they're looking for their daughter as well. Colleen Ritzer's parents call the police to report her missing as well, and the police now knows they're looking for both a student and a teacher at the same school, so they start patrolling the roads, and soon enough they find one of them. They find Philip just walking aimlessly down the Salem Road. Once they tackle him down, they find Colleen driver's license and credit cards, and they find a bloody box cutter. And once they ask him where the blood is coming from, he just responds, a girl. The police arrest Philip on the spot, so let's just go back in time here. That morning on the 22nd, Colleen, who was a math teacher at this school, she pulls Philip over. He was shy, he was new, he just moved from Tennessee, so she just wanted him maybe to stay after school so that she can ask him about his interests. But when she mentions his background, he gets really withdrawn, so she immediately changes the topic. From what I read, he might have withdrawn there because his parents got divorced. So at around 3 p.m., Colleen leaves her class to just go to the toilet. And a couple of minutes later, Philip follows. He enters the bathroom, he puts his gloves on and takes out the box cutter, and he slashes her in the throat area around 16 times, after which he proceeds to rape her. Somebody interrupts them, they just kind of walk into the bathroom, and they realize maybe somebody's changing, so they leave. After that, Philip leaves the bathroom with bloodied hands and finds a wheelie bin. He then transports his 24-year-old teacher, Colleen Ritzer, to the wooded area, from what I could find, she might not have yet succumbed to her injuries here, but she was at least unconscious, and in this wooded area, he proceeds to further assault her with a wooden pole. He then left her posed in the sexually explicit way and left a note saying, I hate you all, on the scene. He was tried as an adult, and his attorneys attempted to convince the jury that he was mentally ill and that this was a psychotic episode, but previously that year, he already attacked another woman. Due to this and all of the evidence, he got 40 years in prison. 